Hello everyone and welcome your faces back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping by. Thank you for clicking the video. Really appreciate it if you get like and subscribe to all the YouTuber stuff. Anyway, YouTuber stuff out the way. I want to talk to you today about A Little Nightmares 3. And I say this because, as many of you know, we don't get to do a lot of scripted video. We, I mean, well, we don't get to do a lot of unscripted video. And I like sitting in front of the camera, chatting to you, and, you know, grabbing a drink. Me and Danny like hanging out and talking. It's nice to have a third person in the conversation, apart from just being me and Dan. It would be nice to talk about Little Nightmares and some of the recent comments that i have seen now of course for those that don't know i am the one who runs the reddit of little nightmares so i see quite a lot what people are thinking about the game and a lot of them are currently concerned for little nightmares 3 but i want to take the time today to sort of do you know one-to-one -one and reassure you that you shouldn't be worried for little nightmares 3 now of course i haven't got the game i haven't got it stashed away behind danny he ain't got it, alright? None of us have got it. We don't have any secret copies or anything like that. I just feel that a lot of the anxiety, I believe, is from changes. And, of course, change brings anxiety. That's very common. Um, but change is good as well at the same time. So, of course, we all know Tarzia are off doing their own thing now. And Embrace is having an absolute poo show over there. So that is probably a topical discussion we can have uh, <laughs> again. Yeah, I feel like we should we should have a little sit down, rest people's mind, and I do feel that of course, like I was like I was saying at the beginning, Tarzia is often the own thing, and of course we don't know what that is as of yet. We know they've done some teasers, which has been really fun, um, but. I've, I've written down, so when I say semi-sort of scripted, it's not even semi-scripted if you think about it, it's just, I've, I've got some bullet points I do want to talk about. And, um, these are the sort of the main concerns that I've seen arise through the Reddit, Twitter, some of my comments, and some comments I've seen elsewhere. Perhaps even on, like, interviews, I believe it was? I can't remember where I saw a few of them, but definitely Reddit, my comments, and Twitter mainly. So, let's get into it. Let's actually chat about why people have this sort of anxiety towards Little Nightmares 3 and going into it. And I think it's, of course, the new studio. Now, we are going to talk a little bit about the new studio in a minute, but don't worry, I am going to talk about it because obviously that is a massive anxiety everyone has about it but i have noticed as well one of the interesting things that has been shown and suggested is that the look and the style doesn't match little nightmares now i think a lot of people and of course you can have your own opinion be more you're more than welcome to share it of course be respectful like we are now um, I think a lot of people are overlooking the art style and also feeling a little bit wary in regards to the art style just because of perhaps the setting for the Necropolis so far. And I think it's triggering a lot of people, I'll say, because the colour palette's different. So, you know, Little Nightmares 1 and 2, very dark, very gloomy, very blue, very very, very cold, I think, the temperature's like, tone. Again, not a theory, colour theorist or anything like that. I have no idea about all colour theory and all that jazz. The setting for Little Nightmares 3 is not the same setting we're used to. Now, of course, a Little Nightmares 1 and 2, and even, I, I, don't, I wouldn't even put very Little Nightmares in this category, uh, but Little Nightmares 1 and 2, it's a very blue dark sad setting i think tarzia have carried that kind of theme throughout the whole of it very well and they've built the whole sort of world in that theme i think this is what upsets a few people seeing that you know there's more yellow more warmth in the little nightmares 3 teaser for the necropolis and the of course the gameplay and stuff but i can assure you that the art style is still the same Hats off to Supermassive Games, again, because they have replicated it super well. I imagine they've used concepts from Little Nightmares 2 and 1. Just, And I know for a fact that Dave, Tarzi Studios' Dave Mervick, had a lore bible for Little Nightmares. So there's definitely, in regards to if you're worried for the story, 
be sh rest assured they have a blueprint for that we'll come to that a little bit later though but for the looks and the aesthetic i think it's still very much little nightmares take out the necropolis in the teaser and look towards more of the darker and bluer areas they've nailed it they've nailed it i think a lot of people have just panicked at the idea of it being so warm and yellow in the necropolis but i don't think that's the whole game so let's don't worry about that because as you can see in the other sort of areas that they've teased they match the tone fantastically and that's what i'm saying about supermassive games again they're no rookies they know what they're doing so again i'm happy with it i think we will be pleasantly surprised i think it goes without saying as well you can't please everyone i think a lot of people are just passionate diehard fans to little nightmares and tarsia sometimes and i think they won't be happy to look at beyond what it can be and i think you also have to say that sometimes you know some people don't like change and it's not that's not a bad thing you know we're used to how things are and it's, it's human nature to not like change so i understand that um but the thing you have to ask is i think a good comparison is if you put the two together a similar setting similar style can you really tell which studio did which? And I think you can't. I I would easily go and say, with the current video footage that we have right now, I don't think if you showed the, a brand new player who the original studio is, I don't think you could. And that is a good thing. Again, this is why I think Supermassive Games have done a fantastic job. And I think Bandai have done an absolutely amazing job getting them to do it. So again, me and Dan, are we Danny Degree, Danny? Do we Danny agree -o? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to help I personally think it looks great it's looking very much on point to what Little Nightmares is again I think reiterate change people don't like change and again human nature it happens I don't like change personally but I think from what I've seen and it just it looks incredible it looks and don't forget as well that what we saw was actually pre-alpha that's mad to me i'm actually when i was watching it the first time i actually thought that was the final and i would have been more than happy with it um so i do wonder if a few areas are getting touch-ups and whatnot but again they have matched they are going to match it well and you've got to remember as well they're being directed they're not just being given the ip supermassive games haven't just been given the ip and go go nuts you know bandai have a very dedicated little nightmares ip team and they are really really meticulously looking after it and that is definitely something i would say with full um belief uh, and you can quote me on that i actually think they've done the series so well and i think there's a relationship that of course we won't know about on the surface because of course we're just players we're just people that enjoy the game but i think behind the scenes as developers and publishers i think they had a fantastic relationship between each other bandai have got who they knew would be capable of the job and did it very well you can see through the interviews that a lot of the team is in massive games or that like the 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 small sort of division of it uh, they are excited to work on little nightmares and that's probably one of the most important things is the passion is still there and if they have the passion and then you've also got bandai there directing them in the right way I don't think it's going to go wrong. I think we're going to be into a very lovely transition. And again, let me know what you think. So, a lot of people have mentioned since one of the recent sort of like um, marketed videos came out. They're a little bit concerned with the lack of connection between Little Nightmares 1 and 2. Now, they didn't outright say there would be no connection. I think that's where you have to really be careful because you don't want it to be a you don't want little nightmares 3 to be a constant callback to little nightmares 1 and 2 and things like that because it's just not going to do well for new players they're going to feel excluded the idea is making each title it needs to feel inclusive for everyone playing it regardless where you are in the fandom or how much you've played it so i think the fact they they are comfortable saying that there's only been a few like tidbits or whatnot i can't remember exactly where they've said that basically there are some connections but it's not like the main sort of like go-to sort of if you will i'm i'm very happy with that i think it is a good idea that we need to sort of now 
steer away from specifically six mono runaway kid raincoat girl because you've got to remember that the stories in the nowhere are full of many characters not just a singularity not just a, a certain set it's full of many characters i imagine lots of ways to pivot away of course it would be nice to see six in little nightmare three like a, a very small snippet or the runaway kid or of course um mono or so something along that lines i mean as well you've also got to remember this if you want to count characters you've got to remember we're out a lot of characters already uh because of course the 2017 comics were retcon now in that comic alone there were at least like pff, eight new characters i think actually even like seven new kids so it's just the fact that of course because you are connected with what you played through. There was more immersion, more of a bond with those sort of characters. You want to see them again. And that's only, that's only natural, you know. But I think I wouldn't worry on it too much. Because I think when you start falling in love with Low and Alone. And playing their stories out. Really getting in that immersion and understanding what they're about. I think you'll fall in love with these characters all over again. And then it's back to loop in this cycle if you will and but again the snippets would be interesting especially where they would put them what it would connect to uh because of course we've seen callbacks before F think of the depths dlc where we saw six through the runaway kid and those kind of callbacks is the ones i would expect going into little nightmares 3 it's very highly theorized at the moment and i've got to admit i'm on the same boat too i think we are going to see the more again i don't know how i imagine I do have a video, I think, where I talk about it briefly, but I imagine it's going to be a case of uh, a low is going to go through one of the mirrors and it's going to end up in the moor, perhaps very early on. Um, I imagine we might see like one or two areas or sort of connections where we briefly go through something or something similar in that regard. But I do think having the whole little Nightmares free story the linear story of it just focus around callbacks and stuff it just doesn't doesn't progress the story again no one likes change i understand that i'm very much on the same boat but i think you have to look at the bigger picture and of course that also depending on how you look at it is a very good thing because you know they don't ever have to kind of stop making little nightmare stories i mean look at the new comics look at the sounds of nightmares fantastic series and not just because i ripped one of the episodes but that's beside the point danny shut up <laughs> that's beside the point but like, it was a fantastic way to explore the universe more and i think we would be robbing ourselves blind if we just focus constantly on you know the runaway kid six in mono again fantastic characters we all fell in love with them raincoat girl for instance that was another hidden gem again if you play very little nightmares you know of these characters but again very little nightmares is a hidden gem so it's a plethora of things one of the other sort of like um i believe uh, iffy situations i think we found ourselves in is is the co-op a good idea now for me little nightmares co-op i think sits very well now there is an argument to be made that of course because you're playing two players you you're taking out the fear or the kind of dread that aligns with it of little nightmares but it, it, it doesn't because what does take that away and i remember hearing dave mervick speak about it once before and Basically, the real the reason why you sort of feel so fear uh, fearful in Little Nightmares and so scared is because you're just so insignificant in that world. You have no power. The most I believe power you had is just a little fight back or one or two occasions. You don't you go into the world vulnerable. There is nothing to aid you, and you know blah blah blah. And I think the difference here is we see in Little Nightmares Three is low and low have the ability to actually fight back now of course not on the grand scale of the the big baby but the monster baby can't be took down with one shot with the arrow although that would make a good end into the fight in the chapter if you pop her in the eye uh that would be quite interesting but that's that's probably where the feeling of it's not going to be more scary comes from rather than it being a cooperative experience um i think cooperative is always a good idea especially with like these type of games because again they've not even outright said you have to play cooperatively you can just play on your own so if you want the authentic sort of little nightmares experience have at it 
you can play the game single player. Personally, I will be playing it single player on the channel and then possibly having a uh, second playthrough with someone else and see if there's anything you miss with two people. The worry is basically that you, if you're playing two player, you'd probably see more of the game rather than the single player. But I don't think that's the case. And I think that is because of the way Little Nightmares is structured. And I say that because it's not split screen co-op. Now, I know a lot of people have asked about that as well. So the rundown is, and if I remember rightly, um, I haven't got the details in front of me, so just bear with me. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Little Nightmares 3 has a Game Pass feature. Uh, so you only need to own it. You only need to invite your friend to play the game. Basically, look at how Supermassive Games have done the cooperative horror beforehand with all the dark anthology pictures and stuff. See how they've handled that. And that will be similar to how they handle this. Um, but it is going to be cross-gen. People get confused. I think I think it was said it was cross-platform, but that's not entirely true. I think what they mean when they say cross-platform, and I could be wrong, please let me know if I am, because I'll quickly make an edit and whatnot. But I think what they mean by cross-play is you can play it on cross-generations. So Xbox One players can play with Xbox X and S, and PlayStation can, players can play with PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4, but you cannot swap uh, consoles. I don't think you can play with Xbox with PlayStation. For instance. From what I've seen so far, it is cross-gen, not exactly cross-play, but that does count as cross-play. <laughs> Again, but I think co-op is a great idea. It's a great addition. It's don't forget, it's an addition. It's not a must. It's an addition to the game. You don't have to play co-op. You can play co-op, and I think that's really important. I've waffled on for a good amount of time now, so I believe. It's worth mentioning most of the probably the anxiety comes from new studios and that's granted again change is scary we all deep down don't like change. I think again go on the credentials of Supermassive Games go look at the past catalogue they've done every game they've touched is gold like it's not even a joke they are basically triple A like I think they have like a double A budget but they are triple A quality like it's mad so <laughs> I don't think there's any way that I could shape this that they're a bad they're a bad pick. It's just they are fantastic. Their their previous games are great. They've been able to incorporate the same art style. Because you've got to remember as well, if we're nervous, can you imagine how they feel? So, you know, when you're posting the old um oh I'm worried this new CEO, you know, just take that in mind. They've done an absolute smashing job from what we can see so far. And it can only get better. I imagine. And again, I mentioned it briefly earlier about the whole Bandai and uh, Supermassive and how they just they they seem to work together really well. Bandai know what Little Nightmares is. They know how to look after it. They have done uh, the the through the comics, through to the mobile games. Uh, everything has been handled with care and with truth to the original story, the one that Dave read. So again, I think one thing as well you have to remember is that. They're not there to rewrite the story. They're there to continue it. But no, I think if you wanted my opinion on that, I think they they are fantastic. I mean, they already know the bones of Little Nightmares, how they've done the enhanced edition. No one's complained about that. Uh, so is it going to be a worry? No, not for me. Um, I think, again, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Uh, the history of the company as well is fantastic. They've got some great titles under them. They know horror more probably than anyone else. So, again, that's a good shout. Um, so, again, I think Bandai have done a phenomenal job in getting them. I mentioned it ages ago that I thought it was going to be Supermassive Games, especially when it came to them handling the Enhanced Edition. I think that was kind of like a test for them. I, that sounds weird, but like, I, I wonder if that was sort of Bandai as well. Let's see how you do with this. How you feel? What's it like under the hood? Can you work with it? Oh yeah, we smashed out the part. We've got an enhanced edition. Job done. Fantastic. And I think that sort of back and forth has really benefited because I think uh, now that Supermassive Games know the DNA of Little Nightmares, they know how it works, they know what it's like, they know the settings. And I, again, I think it's blatantly obvious when you look at the trailer. I think they've just they've knocked it out of the park massively. And... That is a massive undertaking, I think, for a, for a studio to step in the shoes of, of course, Tarsia, and Tarsia are fantastic. It's mad to think that Tarsia are the size they are, because their quality is just phenomenal. 
but it's it's it must be hard for super massive games to just step in the shoes of tarsia and then carry on running there is no reason to doubt that this isn't going to be anything but little nightmares i mean you can see super massive games know how to handle the games and i'm pretty sure we're fine don't worry about that there's no real reason to worry they've replicated the look of little nightmares already fantastically the world building the world setting the level design and of course the monster baby and of course all the other enemies that are coming that we don't know about they look fantastic and of course that brings us on to uh the future of little nightmares and again i think um I'm, again, I mentioned it earlier with the sort of rant, and I don't want to keep repeating myself because I do it often. But like, I think it's um, it's a very good thing, in essence. It is a very good thing. I think, like I mentioned earlier, I predicted it was going to be super massive games a while back after the enhanced edition. I think since then they've been building a team around Little Nightmares. I think they've purposely had a team ready for the get-go to go even further into the little nightmares world i actually do think that little nightmares 3 and if all goes wow and supermassive games are happy with it bandai are happy with it i think they happily will continue to make more and i will hope they do <laughs> daddy i know <coughs> i think the future of little nightmares is looking fantastic um They've brought out the sounds of nightmares. There's been a few mobile ports. Well, the new mobile port is out by the time this video goes up, by the way. Uh, so check that out. It play Digius handled that. That's another French company that I can't pronounce very well. <laughs> but yeah, I think the future for Little Nightmares is very good. I think we're going to be eating very well uh, in the coming years. We also have the leaked sort of... Uh, well, the leaked books that uh, was shown, I believe, on Walmart... Oof, not very good on it because it's an American site and whatnot, so I don't know. But there was two sets of books, uh, I believe, that was leaked, and they were all sort of leaked towards uh, the continuation of the story, which is really exciting. And of course, you know I'm going to cover them, so <laughs> hit that subscribe button. But don't worry, I think the future of Little Nightmares is looking fantastic. I think we've got so much stuff coming. Like I said, The Sounds of Nightmares did super well. They had like a million odd listeners the other month or something. There's those leaked books. We've got Little Nightmares 3 on the way. Uh, who knows if there's more comics coming? I don't know, but that would be pretty cool too. Um, again, there's just so much expansion in this. There's so much like, other media they could do. It's, it's fantastic. I think they're going to do a fantastic job. And now that Bandai are at the helm of it, working with Supermassive Games, I think we have nothing to fear. If there's anything you actually worry about in the comments, let me know and I'll do my best to answer you. Or we could do like a follow-up or shorts videos to it or something similar. But yeah, that's that. I've rambled on for far too long as it is. Um, of course, I have a Little Nightmares theory coming. I actually have two. Uh, one is where we're talking about the nowhere, just like absolutely in full. I have pulled that place apart but yeah we have a theory video of the nowhere and then we also have like a, a theory type sort of deep dive video of some of the artwork contents that we've seen already and i think there's a few in there that people have missed that i actually really want to have a little talk about so again i think it's really interesting especially with the mirror man <sighs> yeah if you haven't read the old comics i suggest you do so um again it's all retcons so take it with a pinch a pinch of salt i hate the fact it is though because it is fantastic again that's not to say they haven't used content from it so you know read it keep it in mind but just don't use it as like solid pieces going forward again that's why we can't really say the mirror man is like because i've got videos from like nearly years ago now where i've spoken about like the mirror theory and things and i've referenced the mirror man like just in full because at that point he was canon and all that jazz um but yeah, I think it's super interesting. The future of Little Nightmares is looking very bright. I am super excited. But again, I do have a few videos planned for Little Nightmares. And there will probably be some more fun videos planned going in the future. But again, let me know what you think. And with that being said, have a lovely morning, day or night, wherever you are in the world. Stay safe. And I'll see you all in the next Little Nightmares theory video. Bye. <laughs>